I was very excited about the opportunity to go to LSU, uh, play on Friday afternoon and in front of a national audience. Uh, very excited about the, the growth our team has made uh, despite losses. I think they've had a great attitude. They've continued to improve every week, uh, put ourselves in a position to win the game Saturday, and unfortunately fell short, but uh, can't uh, complain about their effort or their attitude and uh, take this year as a growing experience, uh, a chance on Saturday to, or on Friday to put an exclamation point to some growth and some development and build us something for the future. First up, we have uh, Bob Holt for the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Hey, Brad, how you doing today? Good, Bob. Yeah, I was wanting to get your reaction on yesterday about uh, having one game in Little Rock instead of two. Yeah, I'm um, obviously uh, uh, excited about the tradition to carry forward for a number of years. Uh, it was something that was intriguing when I first got here, and after this year being over there for two games, uh, has nothing but grown that excitement and anticipation. I think it allows us to talk about it in recruiting for kids that we're recruiting out of Central Arkansas. A lot of positives that will uh, give us an opportunity to build on for for a lot of years to come. But do you think it's good that it's it's gone from two games to one game? Is that better for you guys? You know, um, there's probably a, a set of positives in uh, everything that we do, some, some things that uh, allow us, obviously, to have one more game at home. I think the driving force, obviously, that uh, Jeff referenced is just, you know, if the, the the chance of the SEC schedule changing to a nine-game format, uh, that in conjunction with uh, the 2014 addition of the playoff system, just uh, allowing you to have a better uh, manhold. There's a lot of recruiting rules that are different at both stadiums, both positive and negative. So uh, in the end, it's uh, hopefully going to balance out, give us that tradition to carry forward. Next is Nate Allen of Nate Allen Sports. Coach, as far as, as the LSU, just what kind of problems you see them presenting, and, and do you really feel like they're almost playing kind of a version of what you had at Wisconsin in their offense? Uh, Nate, I think they, they obviously have a lot of really good players. Um, you know, I think on offense they have a quarterback that handles the game very, very well, uh, a guy that's played a lot of football that understands where the ball needs to go in the run game and the passing game. They have an exciting group of players on the perimeter. Uh, I think Odell Beckman uh, is an exceptional player, as well as several other players. They have a couple running backs that can uh, play physical football. Obviously, Jeremy Hill likes to, you know, play the play the game the right way. Um, very physical player, and um, I think on defense, the the part that's apparent is they're big up front. Um, they can run, um, so it's a it's a, it's a good football team. Whether they mirror any place uh, in the past, it doesn't doesn't really matter. I'm just playing LSU. How much confidence has been gained since you had you know, the routes against Alabama and South Carolina, the kind of the close but no cigars you've had against Ole Miss and Mississippi State? Well, there's no uh, comfort in defeat. Uh, they're all losses, um, whether they were highlights or lowlights. Um, you know, I go back to South Carolina game. I think we uh, did some things. Obviously, they pulled away in the second half and just wasn't in the deck of cards that day. But uh, our kids are growing every game, um, whether it was a sound defeat or a defeat by an overtime game, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're both losses, and uh, there's no victory in close. Um, so it's it's just our team continues to grow. I really don't care what the score is. I just want to know they competed for four quarters, they got better, and have us a chance to win the next one. Thanks. Yep. This is Dwayne Rankin, the Montgomery Advertiser. Yeah, Coach, um, looking, at, looking at Trey Mason, uh, he obviously uh, he had a very good game against you guys. What What makes him a special player? Um, all the things that he does well, um, you know, it's, it's a player that takes advantage of the opportunities that are in front of them, and they put their position, uh, team, their uh, team in a position to win, and hopefully, uh, um, you know, does all the things that their coaches are asking them to do. So, do you think it's more of the offense or him? Um, I think good players in any scheme, whether it be uh, uh, for him, for our players, uh, you know, as coaches, you try to recruit a player that fits well to your scheme, and uh, when they have success, it makes uh, obviously the whole thing fit together well. Yeah. Next is Spencer Tillman with CBS Sports. Good morning, Coach. Um, I know that you're focused on what you do, and you kind of alluded to this in your opening comments. I'd kind of like for you to unpack it a little bit more. Um, when you're winless in conference play, do you borrow narratives from other folks? I mean, Auburn was in a similar situation last year, and they've had, or at least on the precipice of doing something that hadn't uh, been done since, I guess, 98 when June Jones and that uh, Hawaii team with Timmy Chang did what they did. But um, does borrowing the narrative of other programs figure into how you must manage this difficult situation right now? Or what's the key? Kind of unpack uh, your approach to this. Yeah, I think that's probably something more for the out of season. Um, the only thing I worry about uh, in season, which we're in now, is you take a look at your team, where they're at, where they're going, what they're doing, who they're playing, um, the environment you're going to be in, and, and try to make the best decisions for you and your program. I definitely will 
uh, during the out of season, uh, you know, starting immediately next week, look at, uh, uh, you know, programs that might have been in similar situations to us. Um, uh, no one really has a, a blueprint to, to what we've had here in the last, uh, you know, two years, and then specifically us coming in in, in December and January. So you always, I think, uh, whether you're, uh, you know, undefeated, whether you're 9-2 and two or 2-9 two and nine or 3-8 and eight or whatever it is, you are, are trying to improve on last year's performance and anything that you can draw from people of the past. I think history is a great thing to read about, uh, but it's even better to write it. Uh, indeed. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you. Coach, we'll finish you up with Bob Holt in the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Hey, Brad, I know the matchups weren't the greatest in Little Rock, but both crowds were under 50,000. Just how, how do you feel about the attendance? And, and what the crowd atmosphere was like. I thought it was awesome. Uh, you know, I, I obviously just have this year's perspective, Bob. Uh, but, you know, I go back to our first game. It was a night game. Uh, crowd was electric. We went over for a walkthrough during the course of the day. I thought it was awesome. Um, you know, Saturday obviously was an early game and a little bit of adverse weather and a team that doesn't have a great record. But, uh, you know, I think that that, that uh, element to it, I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, and, and to go where it was, and, you know, I even just talked with Dan Mullen before the game, you know, it was an interesting perspective just because we had a, uh, you know, two-and-a-half, three-hour bus ride over there, and he made a comment to me. He goes, it was awesome for them because they only had a two-hour bus ride. So, you know, there's a perspective there that you got to uh, keep in order. But I thought it was just an awesome crowd. I thought there was a lot of positive to it. We put ourselves in a position to win the game and unfortunately couldn't couldn't follow through, but it wasn't uh, for lack of fan support. So as long as you're, you're the coach, you'd like to keep a presence in Little Rock. It Absolutely. Cool. I mean, we got – the great thing is, uh, you know, we have a, a number of players, not just from Little Rock, but it makes it a little bit easier for their parents, uh, their families, their loved ones uh, to get to the game. But in, on top of that, I've heard so many positive things, you know, when I'm out on the, uh, on the circuit and uh, people talk about those Little Rock games as their one chance to get to, to watch Arkansas, to uh, get a chance to see the Hogs and, and to, uh, to keep that in perspective, I think is very, very, very special and very unique to, to Arkansas.